Jerry Highfill. Long time no see. Black Sad, I didn't want to wake you. How's the boy? Asleep. I hope he recovers in time for the fight. I got tickets. Although between you and me, he doesn't stand a chance. It'll be a fun bout, nonetheless. Not like this. God, this is boring. I'm out of cigarettes. Can I bum one? Don't smoke or drink. No vice for me. Smoking's dirty. Alcohol goes straight to your head. And women, they're all just me. Well, everyone except mine. Are you sure about that? Not even one little vice? Nope. Between you and me, when someone gives in to vice, it's because something's missing. Something in their life just isn't right. I've got a good wife, a good job, a good house, a good TV, and a good hobby. Sports. Well, watching them, that is. What else do I need, eh? Black said, vice is for losers. Man, I'm bored. Are the odds against Yale that bad? The boy's talented, don't get me wrong. But stone is stone, you know? I bet half my pay, but you know, no vice for me. You say you've got a good job, and yet you're bored. Well, it's just a figure of speech, really. I like my job. Is it boring? Yes, but... I can entertain myself with a good fight or a football game. Well, watching them, that is. Well, I'm going back in. You're awake, handsome? Yale's medical report is right there. Mind if I take a look? Hmm, no, I don't think so, Hanson. What if you show me Yale's report and I buy you dinner? You're handsome, all right, but I'm not stupid. I'll take a pack of Morley's, please. Honey, get me a pack of Morley's for Mr. Hanson. I won't be able to read Yale's medical report if she's around. <laughs> 